Have you heard of the Yellowfish campaign? Well, it's a campaign to raise awareness of the impact we can have on the water environment and what we can do to reduce this. Here at Groundwork, we're working with the Environment Agency and the River Waveney Trust to raise awareness of our impacts and also to give information about small changes we can make to reduce our impact on our water environment in the Waveney area. We'll also be using our mascot, Eddie, who will be going out and about on social media to raise awareness of this with our children and our young people. This is an estuary and many rivers flow into an estuary and then flow out into the sea. So anything that's impacting our rivers will also impact our estuaries and our oceans. Surface water drains will flow to rivers without being treated first. So anything entering our own drains and sometimes our garden drains will flow into the river. So anything contained within the water that's entering those drains will impact on our rivers, our estuaries and our oceans. So we're going to look at small things we can all do to help protect the water environment. So this river um, will lead directly into the estuary that we looked at earlier. Um, and this river will have drained from various points of land before it reaches this point. Um, and so everything that we put into outside drains will eventually get to this point and then the estuary. So that's why we need to be careful about what we put down our drains and what ends up in our rivers. Um, so you would have seen that there was some green algae on the uh, area that entered this uh, river. So that's usually because there's high levels of phosphate um, in the water and that causes plants like algae to overgrow and, and that will block the surface of the water and um, stopping oxygen getting into the water and that will lead to often to fish being killed and invertebrates. And invertebrates are important because they are full food source for fish and other aquatic animals. Um, the reason we get phosphate in our rivers are various um, there's various sources, so it can be the detergents um, that we use in our washing machines and our dishwashers, um, in, in washing up liquid, uh, things we use to wash our cars, but it also comes from sewage treatment works, so from our waste as well, and also from farming when they fertilise the fields. Some of that will enter our river and that's why we have high levels of phosphate, so there are many sources. So here's an example of a pipe entering an estuary, but you'll also see similar ones um, if you walk along your local river. These pipes usually are surface water runoff, and that's things that's coming off of the land. So it could be farmland, but in our towns and villages, it will also be water that's coming off of our hard surfaces like our pavements, and our gardens, etc. So all that water that's running off and going down those drains will flow down the pipes and enter our rivers and estuaries. So that's why we've got to be careful about what enters those drains and why the slogan is only rain down the drain because we don't want any contaminated water entering our rivers and estuaries. So you might be wondering what you can do to help improve the water environment, you as an individual. But if we all do small things, then overall that's, that is a big deal because there are a lot of us. So there are small things we can all do that could have a big impact on our water environment. So here's some examples and this is what the Yellowfish campaign is about. Doing small things to help the water environment. So we, we would ask you to think about the following. Do use environmentally friendly cleaning products, so that would be washing up liquid, dishwasher t uh, powder, uh, washing up liquids that are environmentally friendly because they have phosph less phosphate in, so the impact on the river is reduced. Um, because although um, your washing machines and your dishwashers and all of those things should go into the sewage um, pipes and go to sewage treatment works, sometimes that isn't the case and there can be misconnections when those pipes are actually uh, where those things are actually plumbed into the surface water pipes and they go directly to the river. But if you use these products, if ever that accident occurs, it wouldn't have such an impact. And also the sewage treatment works can't remove everything, so if by reducing the amount of phosphate we put into our sewers, um, the less uh, phosphate that will end up in our rivers and in the estuary. The other thing we can do is um, dispose of all litter in bins. Um, often if you put it in on the floor or in an overflowing bin, it will blow away in the wind and could end up here. Um, do wash vehicles less often. So 
it, that sounds like a good thing to me. Um, just, it, you know, if you wash your car, a lot of it will run down the uh, road into the drains, which ultimately end up in the river. So if we wash our cars less, less of the dirt and oil and metals from our cars and the detergents we use to wash them will end up in our rivers. Um, also, do not dispose of chemicals or oils in sinks, drains, toilets, etc. These things will block the sewage pipes, and when sewage pipes get blocked, they will automatically overflow in directly into our rivers, so raw sewage will have to enter the river because the sewage pipe, pipes can't hold it anymore. So rather than back it up into your home and end up raw sewage in your home, instead it overflows into the rivers. So if we can keep our sewage pipes clear, then that's better as well. River also. Um, and again, to reiterate, do put all litter into bins. Even cigarette butts um, are an issue. They contain micro, um, small parts of plastic and they contain other chemicals that are not very nice um, in our rivers and being picked up by aquatic animals. So there's a few things that we can all do to help improve our river. So we can all do our bit. And the main bit of the Yellowfish campaign is to remember it's only rain down the drain. I hope you found this short video to be interesting and informative. The Yellowfish Campaign is a national campaign which is often run in partnership with the Environment Agency. Please also get in touch with us if you want any more information. We hope that you now feel confident